Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, it is International Wednesday. Today's the first one, guys, and today I'm doing Meatball Parmesan Heroes. Now, I know you guys have more than likely had Meatball Parmesan Heroes, but I'm making my own homemade meatballs, which you guys have seen me make before, but um, that's the best part of it. Now, guys, you don't have to make your own homemade meatballs. If you want to make frozen meatballs, you know, the ones in the bag, whatever you want to do, do that. But this is a really simple recipe, and it's just like my own recipe. But you can make your own meatballs so easily. What I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to make it in my Ninja. Okay, because I, I um, a couple weeks ago when I made meatballs, I made some in a frying pan and some in the, in the Ninja. And the ones in the Ninja with the, in the Ninja... The ones in the Ninja were delicious. The only thing about the Ninja is you have to watch you don't overcook them because they can get overly, overly brown. And we like our, our meatballs kind of soft and light. So that's the only thing is you have to really monitor it. So that, but um, I'm definitely gonna, I wanna save on the oil and the fat going into our bodies and everything. So I'm gonna use the air fryer tonight with the, for, for the meatballs. All right guys, so I'm very excited. This is the first one. Next week, at the end of this video, I'll tell you what we're going to be doing next week. All right? I'll tell you that. But that's not until the end of the video. I hope I remember because I'm very, very forgetful. I really should write myself a little note. I'm going to do that in a minute. <laughs> but I want to get started on these on the meat. Okay, so here's the meat. I don't know how much I have in here. I probably, I think it's probably about two, two and a half pounds of meat, of meat, chop meat that I have in here. Because I tell you, you guys know I buy that big thing of chopped meat. So... I don't know how much, it's probably about two and a half pounds, yeah, two and a half, three pounds. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two eggs, you guys can see, right? Yes, you guys can see. Two eggs, two eggs, making Italian. Guys, I'm so excited about my live on, don't forget, Saturday, January 30, 30th at 7 p.m. I'm going to be live on YouTube. Very, very excited. I already have a couple things that I'm already making. I'm so excited for it, guys. I have, actually, I have one thing and another thing I'm thinking about. Um, I'm probably gonna do like three things, guys. It's probably gonna be, I don't know, like an hour long, maybe. I'll try to, you know, I won't be on too long, but um, I'm gonna do a couple, like two, I wanna do two or three things. All right, so I put two eggs in here. I'm gonna put some dried parsley. I also have some fresh parsley I'm gonna get. I forgot to take that out, but I will. So some dried parsley, some onion powder. This is not, not much in here, so I'm just gonna put the rest in because we'll use it. I have more onion powder in the, um, over there, but I don't need any more. I have garlic, okay. Grated cheese, guys. I'm not gonna put that much salt in it because, where is the salt? because I have a lot of grated cheese in it. Basil. Okay. Let me get, what was I, what, what was I having to get? <laughs> oh, I need the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, give me a second. Give me a second because I don't know where I put it. I move stuff around all the time, guys. I don't know what's any, I don't know where everything is. There's something else I wanted to get. Give me one second. All right, guys. I had to get the breadcrumbs because I forgot them. I just bought these, so I got to open them. <coughs> but it's being, it's being difficult. Please. Yeah, you have to pee. Okay, honey. All right, I'm on I'm Oops. on video. Sorry. All right, now everybody knows you have to pee pee. It's okay. Give me the the butter knife. Sorry, guys. Oh my! Shh. I'm gonna tell you something. After, okay. Let mommy do this. Okay. What? Um, you said we're having right. meatballs. We're having meatballs. Meatball heroes. You don't want the hero? No. Um, 
Oh, you have something else for me? I want something different. You have any meatballs? You can have something. I'll make something with it, all right? Okay, guys, so I'm going to put some breadcrumbs in it. I'm going to start with probably like a half a cup. About a half a cup. Um, here's the water. Now, you guys know I put a lot of water in my meat mixtures. I'm going to put basically all of this. About a cup, cup and a half. And I'm going to start mixing it with the spoon first, then I'll get into it with my hands. You got One thing you got to do is meatballs and meatloaf, and you have to use your hands, guys, because you have to feel it. Like, I, I, go my, I make my meatloaf and my meatballs by feel. You know that. I always told you guys that because my mom used to do the same thing. I could see already that it definitely needs some more breadcrumbs. That's definitely enough breadcrumbs because I don't want them, like, really meaty like breadcrumbs. I want them... You know, mostly meat, obviously. I don't remember if I put salt in, so I'm only going to put a little bit. And pepper. Uh, pepper. Um, I did everything else. Oh, the fresh parsley. Let me get the fresh parsley. Well, let me give this a little bit of a mix. I can already see it's going to need more water, guys. It's definitely going to need more water. Yep. I can see it. See, so guys, last time I made that chili, it came out really good. But it did taste a little salty. My, my, my husband loved it because he loves anything with salt. He, I know him, he probably added salt to it. To me, it tasted a little bit salty. Julie thought it tasted a little bit salty. Everybody else thought it was amazing, so Mom. it was really, really good. Give me one second, honey. Can I have something with the meatballs? All right, guys. Um, I'm going to put more water in it because I already know it needs more water. And <coughs> I have... Some parsley here. Where's the other? I have one already in here. This big one here I haven't washed yet. So I'm going to use this one. Let's put this over here. I just bought that one today. And this one is already washed and taken care of. I'll take the paper towel out of it. I am just going to snip some in because I don't feel like cutting it right now. So I'm just going to snip some in guys we're trying not to get the trying not to get the little stems like i told you before it's happened before where i've gotten the little stems in here and you know whatever it is everybody will survive Let's cut some of the parsley in here yeah i figured you know i could do a lot of italian dishes you've seen me do italian dishes I was considering even, even making two dishes tonight, but I just couldn't, I can't get it done. I was thinking about making lasagna or just baked ziti, but I, I'm just one person and I, I, I just couldn't get it, just couldn't get it done. So we're just gonna do the meatball heroes, but Friday, I mean, I keep calling it Friday, but Saturday guys, when I do the live, I'm so excited for what I'm doing. The one thing that I'm doing, I'm so excited for, I can't wait. I just can't wait, Lordy. I just can't wait. You guys are going to be excited. But it should be fun. You know, like I said, I used to do lives all the time. When I had my other channel, I always used to do lives. And, um, and then things happened. I just kind of got out of it. And then I started doing videos again. And then I stopped. One thing about the last time I was on YouTube was I was very inconsistent. I had a lot of things going on, like in my life and stuff that just didn't, and it just, I just, I just stopped, but I'm not going to do that anymore, guys. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I'm having a lot of fun. I love all you guys. I love interacting with all you guys, and so I'm not going anywhere, guys. Okay? All right, so I put a little bit of parsley in here. I'd like more, but the more, I tried to get fresh basil, too. And um, they had no fresh basil. They had no fresh basil. I don't even know why. They didn't even have it like in the little um, in the little containers. You like get it in like in like the little containers, like those little like square little containers. If they don't have them, but they were all out. I don't know why they have such issues with basil. Maybe because it's winter. I don't know. But people, listen to me, shop right grocery people. Please get some fresh basil in. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> And like I said, guys, if you have fresh herbs, use them. If you don't, the others are fine. I tell you that all the time. I don't want you guys to feel like you have to have fresh herbs. 
You don't. You don't have to have anything. You really don't. All right, guys, my hands are clean. Guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to get my hands in here. You ready? i got to get my hands in here. Let's just do a little bit more parsley. I really enjoy it. I really, really, really enjoy it. So it's crappy here today in, in upstate New York, guys. We got about two, inch, two or three inches of snow out there. My daughter works um, in another county over in another county about 30 minutes away. And she came home early from school, thank God. Oh, no, she, she goes to school, I'm sorry, not work. She goes to school in another county, and I was so worried about her coming home, but she, they were able to leave early, so I was happy about that. So I don't feel better now. You know how you feel when your family's out out there in the, in the weather and you don't know what's going on? It gives me a nervous stomach. Okay, so I put all the water in here. Now I'm going to I'm gonna do it with my hands. Okay, just give it a... Now, you don't want to over-mix your mixtures because, you know, it can the meat can get tough. Okay? But you just gotta give it a good mix. This feels good so far. It's smear and, and you know what I what, what's the next thing I'm gonna do, guys? What, if every if you watch me, you know what I do. I smell it to see if there's enough seasoning. Mmm, I smell it. I smell it, it smells good. I smell the parsley. I smell it good. What I'm gonna do after I get this mixed up? I'm gonna get one of the big trays. I'm gonna make the meatballs, put them all on the tray as much as I can and get started with, with um, fr uh, putting them in the Ninja, guys. Okay? All right, let's see. Now, let me see if it needs more water. Let's see. Okay. Mmm, smells good. I see some. Yeah, I think it needs a drop more water. A drop. It's all by eye and feel, guys. Mostly by feel. So you just have to feel. You feel your, your mixture. If you want it a little bit moister, add a little bit more water. If you don't, if you want it a little firmer, don't add as much water, guys. Make it how you, this is just like I said, this is a concept. This is my concept, my recipe in my head how I do it, how I've always done it. You don't have to do it exactly like me. If you want to make your own Italian meatballs, make your own, you know, how you want to do it. You don't have to do anything that I do. What, you know, or what I do is just how I do it. So don't feel obligated or pressured. Mm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning. A little bit more garlic. And I'm mad because I don't have, you know what, let me look at something, guys. Give me one second. I think I might have some basil. I got basil in here. I've never used it. I saw it the other day. Is this it? Oh, no, that's ginger. I thought I had some of that squeeze basil. But, oh, do I have it? Yes, I think I do. Just gonna search. Yep, there it is. There it is, guys. I bought this a while ago. The stir in paste. I just want to make sure that it's still good. Doesn't have a date on it. Doesn't have a date. Let's open it and see. Mmm. Smells good, guys. Look at that. That's the. I got that at Aldi. You can get it anywhere. I'm gonna put a little bit in. Mmm. I'm gonna mix this with my spoon now. Yeah. So, and then I'll feel it again. Mmm, that looks good, guys. Excited. Excited for all the meatballs. Now, I'm gonna make these meatballs a little bit bigger than normal because they're going in heroes. So I'm gonna make them, you know, small, small. They're gonna be like a small to medium size. Nice size. He's acting up. Oh, no, not him. <laughs> yeah, because Cooper didn't get a lot of um, outside time today because of the snow and stuff. You know, we couldn't leave him out there for very long, and he's we're in rare form right now. When he doesn't get his outside time, guys, it's not good. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Mmm, smells so good. 
Smell that basil. Smell the basil. I'm gonna squeeze some of that in the sauce too. I have well, I have my gravy cooking because I made the marinara the other night um, for for the chicken parm. So I just had to add a can to that, and I'm letting that simmer on low. So that's what we'll use for the meatball heroes. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna make anything with this. I'm probably we're probably just gonna have heroes. Maybe we can have some chips with it, or I don't know, nothing big. Just meatball heroes tonight. It's Italian night. It's an Italian Wednesday. Okay. Guys, it smells so good. I wish you could smell that basil. All right, guys. I just preheated the Ninja. <clears throat> now I'm going to start making the balls. Now, like I said, I'm not making them really huge. I'm gonna make them like this. Now maybe a, maybe a tiny bit bigger, guys. I don't like huge meatballs. You know, like when you go to the Italian restaurants and they give you those huge meatballs. I don't like them like that. But this is a nice one. It's a nice size. I'm gonna put them in here. I didn't, can't reach my big tray up there, and nobody's in here, so I have to use what I have to use, guys. So just make my meatballs like this. Ram, what? I'm online. I mean, I'm on. One second, guys. All right, guys. So my daughter was asking me a question that her friend was asking her about a cooking thing. How long to cook something? So, <laughs> so I had to pause a minute, guys. Okay, so I'm getting these meatballs going. I'm not going to tape the whole entire thing of meatballs because you guys will be bored. And how much can you watch me roll meatballs? Um, but there was something that I wanted to say to you guys. Maybe I could just do that now. Um, I forget. I always want to say something. Oh, guys, I can't even tell you how this basil smells. It smells amazing. It smells stunning. It's huge. It smells so good. So you know, to me, like, I know when my meatballs are the way I want them when they do this when they fall apart like that. That's how I need my meatballs, my, my chopped meat to be. Like when, when, I make, when I make meatloaf, when I make meatballs, this is how I do it. When it's moist like that to the, and it can fall apart, that's when I know it's ready. Oh, you know what I wanted to make? I meant to get today. I didn't realize that my husband loves um, um, stuffed cabbage. I've made it before, but he never had it. I never, I, I just assumed he didn't like it. He told me the other day he loves stuffed cabbage. I love stuffed cabbage. I never make it because nobody in my house would eat it. I'm so excited. That's what I forgot to get today. I have to have him go to the store over the weekend, maybe, or this week and get the cabbage because I want to make some stuffed cabbage. I do have some chopped meat left over, so I, have, I probably have enough for that. I'm not going back to Sam's for like another probably week and a half. Next week, I'll go back to Sam's probably and get get the chopped meat again. I try to get it every ha week and a half, two weeks. You know, I don't get that every week. But it lasts because it lasts like almost two weeks. Depends on what I make, you know. All right, so I'm just going to keep making these bowls and the ninja's almost heated up. And when I go over to the ninja and start, um, start putting them in there, I'm going to show you guys, okay? These cook, I think, like 10 minutes in the, in the ninja. So... I'm probably, I don't know if I'll do that. I'm probably just gonna leave them out when they're done because they're gonna get warmed up with the with the gravy on the um, on the meatball heroes and stuff. I got nice bread, guys, I'll show you. I got I showed you on my haul. And I got three different kinds of bread if anybody wants. I got Italian bread and I got um, uh, two things of store, I got one of the bakery rolls, like the long uh, club rolls, like in the bakery. And then I got like the bagged, bagged um, like club rolls from like, you know, from like the bread aisle. So everybody can just pick what they want to do. What? How do you usually make dads? Dads what? Dad's cake. How do I usually make them? Yeah, how do you usually make dads? Because he doesn't like brown sugar. Oh, he doesn't like brown sugar? He's, he's making Stevens, but she doesn't like okay. that. I always, dads now, I always put 
a little tiny bit of brown sugar, and he loves it. He doesn't know it's there, but if he doesn't like it, just garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Okay, just, just yeah, simple. just yeah, butter, butter. butter. Make sure you put butter in it, yeah. So my husband doesn't really like brown. He doesn't like brown sugar. He doesn't like the sweetness. But one time I made it with just a little brown sugar, and he was like, oh, my God, this is so good. I love it. So now when I make his ham steaks, I put a little bit of brown sugar. A little is just enough. If you put a lot, he doesn't like that sweet, sweet flavor, which I'm shocked because he loves like chocolate and all that. So yeah, so she was asking me because um, her friend's boyfriend doesn't like brown sugar, so she said, what else does she put in it? She said, hey, when, when you make dads, what do you put in it? Because she knows that hubby doesn't like, her father doesn't like um, brown sugar. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop <laughs> for a minute and I'm going to, I'm on a roll here though. So maybe I'll just stay on for a couple of minutes. Um, so what was I gonna say? So yeah, the live's gonna be fun. I was gonna do a live on Facebook, guys, but I decided to do it on YouTube because I know a lot of my YouTubers don't have Facebook and Instagram and stuff, and I wanna make sure that all my YouTubers can, can be on with us, you know, and see it. So it's gonna be posted on YouTube. I'm doing it live on YouTube. I've never done a U I've never done a live YouTube video before, so I might test it out and see how and see how it works. One day I'll see. But um, it's Saturday. I get little butterflies in my stomach because even though I always seem to like get so nervous when it's live. Well, I I, said, I used to get nervous doing these videos, but I don't anymore. Once I I don't think I've stopped it and done a second intro in forever, forever, I think. I've always just done it. I hope these, these are like kind of gonna stick together. I hope I can get them all separated. Mm. Otherwise, I'm gonna have one big meatball. Mm. I can't get over how this smells. It smells so, the basil, oh, love that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, guys, since I'm here and I'm trying to kill some time here, what do I say, guys? Don't forget, don't let anybody dull your shine. You walk with your, help, your head held up high. You make the decisions you think that are right for you at that moment. You think a lot hard about it, and you move on. Don't let anybody tell you different. You just keep on moving up. Keep on going, and don't let anybody dull your shine. That's what I have to say today and every day. And my husband's getting frustrated with me because Cooper is obviously not listening. Now he's he's like a, a toddler. He literally just like a toddler. He just goes from one thing to the next. He doesn't listen. You know, he doesn't like know he knows right from wrong, but like, you know, not fully. I guess. Like a toddler. All right, guys, I'm just about done. I have two more I think I can get out of these. And then I'm gonna wash my hands, and I'm gonna go over and bring these meatballs over. All right, let me, let me shut you off for one sec. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, here we go. It says add the food. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna spray it with some vegetable oil. Or you can either spray it or you can put vegetable oil, guys, on the bin. You can't use, um, don't use olive oil because it makes it smoke. That's what they said. Okay, so it's very important that you spray it, though, with something. Okay, let's put these in. I'll just reshape them. Yeah, exciting. Exciting. I'll show you once they're all in before I shut the top. I will show you guys what they look like. Okay. Trying just to put them in here without doing anything to them. Just plop them in. I could probably fit um I could probably fit five in each row. Move these over a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Note to self, don't touch the pan. <laughs> don't touch the pan. So I can fit 15 in here, guys. 
five on each row. I'm telling you, it's a lot bigger than, than it looks. Like, I was like, oh my God, it's so small. I'm not gonna be able to fit anything in there, but you really can fit a lot. You don't realize it. All right, guys, let me wipe my hands again. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Now, what I'm gonna do is also spray the top because I want it to have that oily stuff on the top. That's just it. Okay, let me turn these around. There you go, guys. Now there's 15 in there. Okay, that's with them just going in. So let's put it on. Let's shut it and turn this around. Put it on. Okay, now it's gonna go on for 20 minutes. Alexa, put the timer on for 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna put it on for 10 minutes. I might even check it before that because like I said, I don't want them really brown. I want them brown, but I don't want them like with that hard, you know, um, like crust on them. I don't care if it's a little bit, but I don't want anything really, really big and crusty. So I want, so I'm gonna check them in 10 minutes. I might, like I said, I might check it beforehand, about eight minutes, even though I set the time for 10, um, and, see, and see about that. Let me get the breads and I'll show you what breads I got. I did show you the breads, but I wanna show you like what the choices are for everybody. So I bought one of these Italian breads. Okay, somebody, if they want, they can make a hero out of this. One of those. I got these rolls, like from the bakery department, like they, you know, they came out of the thing. These. My son already had one today with a sandwich. And I have these. Which these are good. These are like softer. Somebody wants a softer roll. These, um, Amma, Amma Rosso's Italian Day. Hey, happy Italian Day. Italian Wednesday. International Wednesday. I know I'm crazy. <laughs> so that's what we're going to have with it, guys. Let me show you the gravy. Well, the gravy sauce. It's sauce, really. Because there's no meat in it. That's cooking away. Like I said, guys, that's double duty I used because we used it for the chicken parm, which I do have a couple of, um, I do have a couple pieces of chicken parm left. Bill and I ate yesterday some for lunch. And I think um, my, my daughter's my sister. My daughter's boyfriend is going to take, um, there's two pieces left. I think he's going to take that to work tomorrow. So that'll be eaten. That's great. Um, and what was I saying? Oh, so, so the sauce, I used double duty. I had to just add one can to it. We'll use that. And then um, I'm going to make, uh, so like Saturday, I'm going to make something that, I'm going to give you a little hint. Saturday, I'm going to make something on the live that's going to need a little sauce. So that's one thing, guys. I'm so excited about that. I'm really excited. It's going to be so much fun. So much fun. All right, so I'm going to go wipe these. I'm going to clean up quick, get everything else ready, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I just checked them. And they're saying that they're done, but I don't know. I'm going to take one out, and I'm going to check it. Because I tested a couple of them, and they said they were at one... Um, 145 what they're supposed to be at but i just want to make sure because that was like well that was 11 minutes almost 11 minutes so it is a fairly long time let me take this one take it out you see and that's really like how we like them guys like that brown but not you know wow that is totally done look Oh, Alexa, stop. That's totally done. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. I can't. Even. No, this is too big. I can't even believe how good they are. I can't even believe how delicious they are. My pan's all the way up there and I can't reach it. All right, the only thing is, is that I noticed that, let me get my thing, that they do lack 
a tiny bit of salt, but that's okay. We can put salt right on our on them. I'd rather them be a little bit less salty than overly salty. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Look how they come out. So nice. So nice. No, none. And you still have some some grease in here, but it's not on the meatballs. It all goes all the way down. Perfect size meatballs, guys. I wish you could taste how delicious they are. They literally, they literally taste like they came out of the oil, and I fried them in the oil. They literally do that, and you're saving all that fat going into your veins. So good. I'm laughing because Cooper is driving my husband crazy. Mm, you can taste that basil, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I automatically do a dance. Let's pray it not another time. Let's move this over here. Guys, I'm so excited. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut it and put it back on again. This way, I could set it so I know when the 11 minutes are up because that's, it was done at 11 minutes. That's when I checked it, that's when I opened it. I kind of shape, reshape these a little bit, some of them are. Guys, it's so good, so yummy. So yummy, so yummy. I know I'm singing again, but sorry. That's what I like to do. I like to sing. And I like to cook. And that's what I like to do. Oh, you can tell me. I hope I can fit all these in there. Look at this. I'm gonna try to squeeze all these in here. Let's see if I can do it. Because I only have three left. One, yeah, there's two. One more spot. Gotta move this over a little bit. One thing good about meatballs, you can smush them in because they're, you know, they're chopped meat and you can smush them into the shape that you want them. All right, guys, so I'm gonna shut it off, okay? I'm gonna put it back on. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on the air crisp. At, I had it at 375, oops, 375. I'm gonna put it on, on, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the preheat button because it's already preheated. I have to open it up. Oh, I wanna spray. Then I'm gonna shut it again, and I'm gonna stop it at 11, at 11 minutes, guys. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me just wash my hands. Give me one second. There you go, guys. The meatballs are all done. We're gonna get ready now and set up our heroes and I will come back when it's all set up. Message. All right, guys. I'm gonna make my, meat, my meatball here. I have my bread here. I'm using the Italian bread, okay? I'm gonna put four meatballs. I put gravy on it, well, sauce on it. Uh, there's hubbies. Hold it up there. There you go. Ooh, don't go to <laughs> There's hubbies. Oh, wait, guys. I'm going to put um, some Parmesan. Not Parmesan. Some mozzarella on the bottom. I'm going to put my meatballs on here. Four meatballs should be good. Now, I like to smush my meatball. I'm, you can't even see it. I'm such a knucklehead. I like to smush my meatballs a little bit. I don't like them like in a bowl. So I smush them down a little bit. Just like that. Ooh, so yummy. See ya. See ya. Okay. So. Do you need your bathroom? No, I don't. I'm going to put some sauce on it now. And I'll come back and show you. And then I'm going to put the mozzarella on it. And I'm going to put it in the toaster oven for a couple of minutes. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can all right, guys, I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. I put sauce on it, on the meatballs. Now I'm going to put some more cheese on it. Okay, 
and I'm going to put this in the toaster oven on broil. I have it on toast right now. Oh, all right, toast, whatever it's on. All right, guys, here it is. I melted my cheese. I put a little bit more sauce on the top, and there we go. Now, this is going to be messy because it's a meatball hero, and it's homemade, so it's going to be messy. I'm going to cut it down the middle with a serrated knife, and that's it. Nice homemade Italian meatball parm hero, guys. I'm going to taste it for you. Oh. That's what you want. Mm. Yummy. You know what, guys? You don't even have to have Italian bread or rolls. You have regular white bread. We've had them plenty of times on white bread, on meatball sandwich, delicious. Make this for your family, guys. You're gonna, they're gonna love it. Thank you so much for joining me on the first, um, the first video of a town international week, International Wednesday, International Wednesday, guys. Don't forget about the live on Saturday at seven on YouTube. And um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you guys like this video. Really hitting the like button helps my channel, guys. And also, um, don't forget to hit that, that um, notification button with the bell so you guys will be notified every time I put a video on. Um, I put a video up. All right, guys? I'm going to go now and eat and enjoy my, my, um, my food. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.